there are two wonderful people um, who started Youth Ronola, knowing about um, one of my friends um, knew about a program in Los Angeles called Students Run LA. And she was training for the Crescent City Classic one year. And some of her students were asking her what she was training for, why she was running, could they train with her. Um, So she had a small group of kids do the Crescent City Classic with her. The following fall, she was like, let's actually turn this into a thing. Into a thing. Um, And so she taught at Shelma at High, um, sent out kind of this message of like, does anybody want to run the students? Because I think I'm going to start doing this thing after school. So I went to the alternative school down the road from Shelma and I. Okay. Um, all of my students had been expelled from either the other middle schools or the high school in St. Bernard Parish. Hmm. And uh, when they got expelled, they also got expelled from the opportunity to have any kind of extracurricular stuff, any other programming, that type of thing. So the school had zero... Zero, like nothing. Like you went, you class. sat in a room, somebody gave you math, yeah. and then you went home. Yeah, I gave English to whatever degree <laughs> first and second year teachers can do that. And um, then kids went home. Wow. It was not the happiest place. And certainly when I was in school, like it was the sports that I was doing, student council, that kind of stuff that got me so excited about school and yeah. and what I was um what I was there for learning in school, but it was a, that that's like where I felt I belonged was any of that extracurricular stuff. Mm. So I thought like, hey, maybe this is like a way of creating some opportunity for the students at our school of um, this like walking and jogging club. Yeah. It was super grassroots at the beginning, like very, we met at the track behind Shamat High. Um, there were five of us teachers who responded to that, like anyone interested. I, there was one student in particular that I was like, if I can get Kishanda to come to this with me, mm-hmm. maybe that will help what had been like a bit of like in the classroom butting of heads. Yeah. Um, and I was like, let's get us outside. It's like, let's just, do you want to come to this thing with me, Kishanda? It's like this running thing. You know, I didn't even know like what I was explaining because <laughs> Um, come to this thing. Come to this thing. It's it's at the track uh, behind the school. Meet at the school. It's going to be a thing that we do. Um, and it and it, she came and that's became like practice two times a week. Mm-hmm. Um, started putting on like small events. Like had one that spring. Like bust all the kids to Audubon Park to like experience running there just organically just organically and then um we actually became uh, a project of the young leadership council so the founders andre feidler and alex lebo kind of pitched to the young leadership council like could we be a project of yours Hmm. so we became a project of theirs that was help super helpful with like initial uh, like incubation basically like initial funding initial volunteers initial idea of like how do you actually do this Um, because we were all teachers Um, and so then we had this run in Audubon Park and we had like 45 kids do the Crescent City Classic that year Um, and that was the biggest that that was like biggest event that youth run had ever had yeah so it was like the whole year was like leading up towards the Crescent City Classic